though nowhere near as prolific as the models that have come since, the Diablo was far and away the most prolific model Lamborghini had made up until that point in its history. Nearly 2,900 of them were made between 1990 and 2001. And this was one of the last of them? The VT 6.0 say represented the culmination of over a decade's worth of Diablo development. It combined the 6.0 liter V12 from the Diablo GT with the all-wheel traction from the Diablo VT, sending 550 horsepower to all four wheels, considerably more than the 485 horsepower in the 5.7 liter rear drive original. The factory in Santa Garta Bolognese only made 42 examples, half of them in Oelios, Sunrise Gold, the other half in Marone Eclipsis, Sunset Brown, like this one. It also featured a brown leather interior with titanium finish shifter and instrument bezels, and the latest DVD navigation system its then new parent company Audi could muster at the time. This was the 40th of those 42 examples. It kept it in climate-controlled storage on the West Coast from 2008 through 2012, when it was sold to another collector in Hong Kong. That owner has now put it up for sale, incredibly with just 14 miles on the clock and preserved in factory fresh condition. Such a rare and well-preserved specimen was evidently a hit when it crosses the auction block at Amelio Island this weekend. RM Sotheby's estimated its value between $300,000-$350,000, but in the end it sold for an impressive $412,000. That's almost as much as you'd have to pay for a brand new Aventador, which has already been produced in far greater numbers than the Diablo ever was.